didn't want such a square shape for my cut pile. So this was at the top, a couple more at the bottom. So I am going to, uh, I just didn't want it so angular, I guess. I wanted a little bit more organic feeling. So I'm going to also then cut the paper here around the cut file. So that has a little bit more of an organic feel. And then I will back it on this blue. All right, using Inklings Shimmering Watercolors. Never used them before. Um, it says you spritz them with a little bit of water because they're dry. I don't know. And uh, so let's see what that's all about. I have no idea. Well, we'll find out. And I'm just going to put some color on this cup pile. Mm, let's see what kind of brush do I want here. I'm going with a soft brush. This is like really disappearing, so it's really soaking up the water. This uh, I mean, it's gone already. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's not nearly as dark as I thought maybe it would be. I was really hoping to get some more color on this cut pile. But as you can see, it's not color. It's just, I don't know. I'm wondering if I watercolor with ink first and then the shimmers, if that might be more what I'm looking for for the color. I need to get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. I'm going to try that. I got this silly paper underneath just to this crap. Matt is junk. Got it from Wish or something, China somewhere. And yeah, not quality. It soaks through. So that's just a pain. Okay. Now let's see how close we can get to, oh geez. Yeah, this is more, that's a lot of color there, but when I put this watercolor business, I'm going to give it a little bit more water because I know that it's really soaking it up. Then I'm hoping that that does its water in the here will help these oxide inks do their magic too. So we'll get a little bit of oxidation going on also along with the shimmery glitter stuff all right that looks all right i'm not going to do everything When it says spritz with water, they mean water. I mean, like a lot of water. Gee whiz. So I'm going not only where I inked, but also other places, but I'm leaving some just all white. No real rhyme or reason. More water. This is really interesting. Mm -hmm. See, it's like it's got holes in there, and so it keeps wanting to just like soak down through. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing here. This is just playing. Super fun, actually. Ooh, see how, ooh, I like it. I like the, yeah, the shimmer and the inks. That works really well. Oh, let's leave it at that. That's, I think, well, maybe it's not going to be covered. I was thinking that this is going to be pretty much covered with the photo, but it might not be. So let's get some more shimmer going on there in that little area. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to try this a little bit, and I will be back. Okay, so I gave that a little bit of time to dry. 
Um, I got these three photos. Fun story here. Obviously, you'll be able to read it after I'm done here. I think this is going to be the placement. My title is going to go here. I'm going to put an embellishment here and then my journaling here. The green will tie in with the, the green background. So that against the, I kind of like that. Okay, liking this, liking this. Yeah. Because I really want this to shine. I want this to be a shining part of my... See, and look, I can bring in a little bit of this. Okay. Now, you guys know I love stitching. So I am going to stitch this down. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to stitch it all onto the blue or if I'm going to just stitch onto the white. All right, I am going to go do that and I will be back. Um, anybody who's done any free motion stitching can probably appreciate this. I am brand new to free motion stitching and what better where place to practice than in scrapbooking. So here you can see, you know, I actually went around the hearts and it's, a, it's tricky. It's tricky getting them curves. So there's my stitching. On and off. Okay, now some bits to. I don't even know if I need to. You know what? I am. Only thing is, I would like to get a little bit of texture behind there. Um, I'll look at that tissue paper that I got. I think I can use some of this. I think I'm going to put the adhesive on the background because it is so tricky using All right, there we go. There we are, all right. Now, before I adhere those though, I think I'm going to start getting out my elements. This I think would be very pretty to go across. That'll help connect everything. Now, do I wanna put this on there too? This would help bulk up that space. And this, Kind of matches the tissue, so maybe I do. But if that's the case, let me see here. Hmm. Somehow, how it looks too linear, though. This is a little bit more organic. Do I go this way? But then that's gonna add. Well, I can go like that, I guess. Is that better? Quite honestly, I don't know if I like this on here. I think I can make it work, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Voila. Okay. Now let's get out the bits of goodness. All right, see, I am not a doily person. But let's look. Let's see if I can work a doily into this layout. I can never get them to look right. And I already taped that down. But I maybe could do this because it's not like overpowering. And I do have curves on the page in other places. Okay, I gotta try this. Now I feel like it's, I got a personal challenge going on. Okay, okay, there I'm liking it better because you're not seeing the full circle. You're giving giving the illusion because it's hidden underneath there. I think I could do that. Now, if my title was on top of there, I think that would work. This was like the main thing. And so I was hoping by putting them corners on that it would bring, draw attention 
into that. All right, that was my thinking anyway. Because we were having a beverage, tuck this little guy right back there. I like to use a handy dandy piece of packaging. And you can still read that it's a Y. So I think that's okay. Right. There it is. Okay. Oh, no, I can just kind of stick that down. Yep, there. That'll hold that little stem in there. Right. Now this lovely bit here. Looking on the bright side, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Actually, I'm going to put that over there because I could use a little bit more gold. But that is, I like that. That's like perfect for this. Love this. There, there we go. All right, I'm happy. We will talk to you next time. All the goodness is right here.